Hello creative people, uh, this is Jahid Hassan, Real Instructor Learning Tech Media. Today we are going to learn how we use Ico font in our design. Uh, especially uh, you can use it in Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator. Uh, alongside you can use it uh, other platform like PowerPoint, Word, etc. Basically Ico font use as a text. So at first we go to their website and uh, see how we integrate them in our design so i enter their web address in my browser and going to see their website entering their website i found an option a view all icon then i click on it suppose i want to integrate this icon uh, in powerpoint i copied it and go to my powerpoint interface and choose blank presentation so i at first inserted text box here and paste the icon so you can see here uh, my icon is placed here and i want to increase it that's why i select it and uh, increase the size of it then i can uh, change its color Please concentrate on it. Uh, you can see that uh, in font style, Ico font is visible there because I installed it before. So for that, you uh, need to install that font, Ico font, in your PC. So whenever I enter their website, there is an option how to use. If I click on it, then a new page is visible here then uh, you can find the instruction how you use it you can use it also your website and also your design so for uh, designing element you need to install their font so you can find it in download option so i click on it and whenever i click on it the download option is visible here and i use download manager for downloading this okay my download is completed now then i go to the download folder to see this so guys um, i found it here as a zip file icofont.zip and i need to extract them so whenever i want to extract them i uh, click the folder with the right button of mouse and find an option extract files okay so i extracted it and find a folder then whenever i entered in the folder and i found some option then i need to find fonts folder in fonts folder you can find icofont.ttf file i repeat that you need to install .ttf file so i want to click on it and after clicking there is an option uh, print and install then I am going to click on install option and after installing it you can find it from your PowerPoint Word and Photoshop interfaces so let's check it in different uh, platform like I am going for an Word document then choose a blank document and entering some text then select it by pressing ctrl plus a button from the keyboard and choose from the font style ico font okay then i go to their website and choose another icon copied it and paste it in our word document so you can see here this uh, icon is placed in word document and then i am going for uh, photoshop how it works in photoshop let's see so i am going to create a new canvas 
for Photoshop. Then I choose a text tool and insert it in here and paste the icon again. Okay, let's another try. I go to their website and um, choose an icon and place it in Photoshop. You can see here the font is not placed properly in here because of you didn't select an option from here and that option is font style you can search it for ico font then enter it and see your expected font is applied and your icon is also placed here so remember that uh, before applying this icon in your interface like photoshop powerpoint word or uh, in your website you need to follow their instruction and you need to install their font from their website then extract it in your pc then you can use it in your pc in any platform and one more thing i want to tell you guys in previous moment i showed you uh, how i extract the file so let's see again this zip file i extracted before and it's called zip software and you can uh, also download it from google for free basis like i i'm going to search for it winrar download so whenever i search for it i find a website their official website then i choose download winrar option and download option is visible here whenever i click on it it's ready to download for my pc so i hope you guys understood that and if you face any problem then drop your comment in comment box